Hey guys, so this is me starting the vlog earlier than usual, sort of. So I took my cousins and I'm just getting ready for work now. Yesterday I actually got a lot of compliments and I barely put on, well, I mean I put on more makeup than I have, you know, a few times for work and I got so many more compliments. I still wasn't wearing face makeup, but I still got like tons of compliments. So normally what I just do is I put Benefit Professional on my like areas that need it. I do my brows, I put mascara and lipstick and a little bit of concealer. What I did yesterday that was a little different is I put a little wing. I've been using the Ciate Fierce Flicks Full Tip Eyeliner Pen. I did my brows this morning before I took my cousins, but I'm just gonna like put a little bit more. And I had already put Professional in, but since I like, you know, what's going about my day, I might need a little bit more. So professional, not only does it fill pores, but you see how like it almost get, has like a mattifying effect. So I just like put it in the areas that definitely need it. I've gotten really into this lately. I always loved it, but I've gotten really into it. Like a liner, I already have mascara on from this morning, but I always will do like a fresh coat right before I leave. So let's add some concealer. So I put concealer in areas that I have redness. Now normally I color correct and then put concealer, but when you're not putting foundation on top, <laughs> it can be a little tricky because you don't have that layer of foundation to help hide the color correction even more. So I put there, I put a little bit here because I've been having some redness up here. I'm not sure why. That just like makes the area look a little better. So I have a little bit of redness on my nose, but I don't try to go too ham with the concealer on there. Because the thing is like, you want to make sure you have a concealer that actually matches your skin tone really well. Like this is Amazing Cosmetics. Amazing concealer, shade medium beige. It's always matched me really, really nicely. It's a concealer that I can put without foundation and I can kind of blend through and it looks great. Uh, it's also a concealer that even after I've set my face or whatever, if I come home or if I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I've got some redness peeking through. I can put it on top and it doesn't like separate or do anything crazy. You're not really supposed to put liquids over powders, but I like to live on the edge. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Bare Minerals Bare Serum Concealer. I gotta be careful because I have mascara already on, so. Well, I've had that really nicely. It's not gonna look obviously as good as it normally does with like, you know, the color correction and, and all of that, but it just kind of will add a little smidge of brightness. And of course, I'd much rather do this with my little mini Real Technique sponge, but I don't feel like wetting it. Yesterday I tried doing it with it dry and it mm, wasn't a fan. So you see, like it adds like a little brightness. I'll let it sit for a second and then I'll set it with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and then I'll put powder on top. So, oh, in the meantime, I can show you some packages. Hopefully we have plenty of time. Let me check the time. Okay, we got time. I gotta take um, the dogs out and stuff before I go. So this package is from Derma E. They, I believe they send a package like once a month. Oh! I just stab myself with little scissors, waiting for blood to come out. Like stab myself. I'll try this at home. So, I'm gonna eat. Hmm. So it's their October box. Ooh, so they included their purifying two-in-one charcoal mask, which I love their masks. And I actually really do love this cleanser. It's their purifying gel cleanser. So I don't use this all the time because it is a purifying cleanser and I don't really get breakouts like I used to. But especially after the gym or something, I'll use this to kind of like really get rid of all that oil and sweat and stuff like that. That was nice. nice. Normally, I like to show you guys the unboxings first. I always have been doing that. But a couple of days ago, I got the most ridiculous package that I wasn't expecting to get. It's a package I saw on other people's pages and... I just didn't think I was gonna be one of the people that got it. So when it showed up, I was like, <gasps> and I had to put it on my Instagram stories, which some of you guys might have seen. It's a package from Urban Decay. The other reason why I was like, I doubt I'm gonna get it is because they've been sending packages after packages after packages. And you know, some of these, I guess, pricier ones, most people, or not most people, but some people don't get them. 
And I totally understand, I can't send it to everybody, so I was so excited to get it. So first thing is a coloring book. So it is a swear word coloring book. So if you notice up here it says F that sh. It's an adult coloring book, but it's like every page has a curse word. So some of you guys might find it offensive, but Urban Decay is one of those edgier brands. Like if you look at the names of a lot of their products, they're named after like drugs and all kinds of stuff. So very like edgy brand. So this makes total sense that they would send something like that. They sent this little roll, which this little roll reminds me of if you've ever done painting, like they have these rolls that you can hold your paintbrushes so they don't get damaged. And when you open it up, I believe this is all of the colors of their 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil. If not, it's a good chunk of them. <laughs> Maybe, um, does, it probably doesn't include like limited edition ones that don't exist anymore, but I mean, it's a lot of them. It's, it's the whole spectrum. And what's cool is they're, they're like from dark to light in color range, probably color range. And I mean, you might look at this, you might be like, oh, this is, this, I mean, this isn't that big of a package, but it, you know, each one of these pencils I think runs for almost $20, I think. So add it up, like this is a very expensive, like PR package if you look down to like the, the value of it. So I was blown away to receive this and I just thought it was such a cute thing. Like maybe it's not the most like flashy package, but if you think about the thought that goes into it, it's so cute. Like, it, cause it looks like color pencils. Obviously you're not gonna use these to use to color on that book, but it's just like, oh, here's the coloring book and look, all these color pencils, but no, they're eye pencils, you know what I mean? I don't know. I like that. It, it was just like a random package because I don't think that anything um, new has launched or whatever, you know, so I love when brands do that kind of thing. Like they just, you know, this isn't a new release basically, but here, try the range out if you haven't already, you know, I'm distracted. So I usually spray the flat side of this little sponge and I'll just go under. Okay, now it's extra wet. Oof. And I let that dry, I'll put powder on top and then I pop the I can see there from getting all crazy. So while that's drying, we'll do the last coat of the mascara. Um, I've been loving this combination. My Trigger Maker Mascara is the first coats. And then I put this only on top. This is the Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. And usually what I'll do if it's just a touch-up coat, I'll just literally go to the ends. Like press up to like curl them. So I like close my eyes while I pull up. And like wait for it to dry. So it just kind of like opens it up more. Ah. I think that's all I have like package wise. I haven't really gotten anything else new. I've seen all the other packages. So I gotta do the unboxings on uh, my Instagram stories. So then last I'll put um, powder once this dries and uh, lipstick. And I'll also put powder to set the areas obviously that I put concealer, which I guess I could do that now. If I could find my powder. So I'm still using my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Oh, usually sometimes I'll put concealer down there, but I guess I didn't. Oops. I'll just go ahead and set the under eye. Let's on my edge. My makeup really doesn't have to last that long because it's just work. I'm not doing anything after. And then of course I take my hair down, put lipstick on, and then I'm ready for my day. So I will see you guys when I get home from work. I've got a lot of cleaning that I want to do. I've, I've had a very productive day, even though it probably doesn't seem like it. And it, I honestly don't feel like I have, but I feel like I did. Sort of. See you guys later.